what I think we don't want our parents to do, if we can help them, is constantly target this little boy for being who he is. Right. So, um, so when I say uh, talk about rough and tumble play, I'm actually using a scientific term. Great. That, that Great. is cool. the that is the scientific term wow. for the high uh, higher level of activity that boys um, have by school age. Three quarters of the boys in a class are more physically active than any girl. So, uh, in terms of psychological needs uh, and needs for good teaching and guidance, uh, for certainly for love and affection, boys and girls, you know. They're the same. They're human. They're human mm-hmm. children. And it, when we think about boys and girls, we don't think about that. We shouldn't think about them as there's a, there's a girl brain and a boy brain, and that they're all very different. It ain't like that. They're mostly human. Uh, a shy girl and a shy boy might have a very similar kind of school experience because of their shyness. So temperament beats gender. But on the issue of physicality, when you've got a class of elementary school students and three-quarters of the boys are more physically active than any girl, um, their experience of the day might be quite different. When you've got two boys at home uh, with a sister or you just got two boys at home, their, their level of physicality just might be very, very much higher than what the parents have come to expect with a girl.